What's up, YouTube? Tommy Israel, aka Tommy Forte, doing a video about the verdict, or not the verdict, the lack of charging the police officers in Breonna Taylor's murder. Um, but more importantly, this is about this is about uh, the black community and how everybody's hurting right now. It's been a tough year in 2020 for us as a people more than anybody else. If you notice, ever since 2020, the black community has been hurting more than anybody else. Uh, whether it's economically, uh, socially, you know, emotionally, politically, all of that. And a lot of it has to do with how we look at our entertainers. Because we, we lost a lot of entertainers, but we also lost a lot of civilian folk also. But... Since black, a lot of black females are definitely hurting because of Breonna Taylor, and they try, you know, a lot of times they try to separate and say black women are the least disrespected, or the, I'm sorry, the least, yeah, the least disrespected and the uh, the most hated and all of that out of all people. That may be true, but you see a lot of black men, a lot of black athletes. A lot of black people in the street fighting police and different things like that all across the country because of this verdict. But I want to say one thing to someone in particular, Cynthia G. Cynthia G, say her name. Say her name, Cynthia G. Today, you don't need no Becky videos. You don't need no videos about black men and, you know, what he said about a light-skinned girl or how he said Becky is his favorite or, you know, a black man buck dancing and Burger King or nothing like that. We don't need that. You say you care about black females and black females seem to think you care about them. S say her name. You never made a video once on this girl. Or this young woman's death. Not once. Your whole rhetoric has changed. You used to be the one that ride for black females. Especially at the hands of racist cops. You don't do that anymore. But yet they still seem, they still seem to think you're in their corner. When are you going to say her name? Instead of saying Cardi B's name. Or Dr. Dre and his divorce. I mean, everything is Becky this and Becky that. I mean, what's really going on? Are you trying to help black men? Are you are you jealous? Do you want a black man? What's the deal? But all in all, you're supposed to care about your black females. You're supposed to care about young black girls. And young black women, at least that's what your platform says. So why you don't never discuss when black females are violated at the hands of racist cops in this judicial system and the society at hand? So here's a good chance for you right now to say her name. You got black men wearing T-shirts. Wearing face masks with Breonna Taylor name on it. They paint murals. You know, they're drawing graffiti on their tennis shoes. You know, um, you know, saluting Breonna Taylor. But you got to do your part. You making money off these sisters. And all you doing is poisoning their minds. That's all you doing. You're turning... You're turning your people against each other. That's all you're doing. I mean, that that's that sounds like the work of a of a clansman. That sounds like the, the, the work of a, a, a white supremacist. That sounds like the work the works of a traitor. I 
when I look on YouTube, I don't see Arab men and Arab women fighting. You don't see Arab women making videos about Arab men or how the Arab men are abusive or Arab men slept with a Becky or you don't see that. You don't see Arab women going Arab men going at them. You don't see Jewish men and Jewish women going at each other. And when white men make a video about white women, it's just women in general. They don't specifically say white women. When a white woman makes a video about a man, she doesn't even though you know she's talking about white men, but she just says it's men. There's no Asian people on YouTube bashing each other. It's only black men and black women. And we're teaching our children to follow along those footsteps. So again, I'm going to say Cynthia G for once. Say her name. Say her name. As well as Kennedy Smith, the girl from LSU who was stabbed by a white boyfriend right after she graduated last May. No video. Where's Malaya Bast? Where's Lil Tootie? The little girl who was killed by her mother, possibly her mother and her ex boy, or not her ex, her boyfriend. Say her name. Stop being phony. Stop being fake. Like, comment, subscribe.